cabinets. I got my new countertop I put on. Just kidding guys, but you know, I'm here more than I am my house. So I figured let's clean it up, make it nice and uh, do a little something cool with it. So you guys can see some of the wood grain that I like to do. So, you know, I got this car in the booth right now. It's a BMW Z4 and it's got a fine metallic on it. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this one. So let's get into it guys. So here's the car all bagged up in the booth. We're blending the quarters on it, putting a new trunk and a new bumper. So we got two new ones and two blends. And this is a fiberglass. So I went ahead and 800 it and I went ahead and put some adhesion promoter on it because it's, it's got that weird primer on it. So this code is A83 and it's kind of a fine, real fine metallic. This is a Z4. But nice car, and I gotta check the chip on it. So let's stay tuned and get into this one. So this chip don't look too good, and they do have a lighter. So you guys can see there, it's definitely a little dark. So I'm gonna see what the lighter is. This car's got a really pretty fine metallic on it. I like them fine metallics, they look nice. So we'll see what's gonna be mixed into this one. Probably some of the uh, real fine silver. So. I'm going to spray the uh, lighter variant and spray a card and check it and uh, see how it looks. All right, guys, so we're ready to seal this one. And I mixed up the color and it does have a lot of fine metallic in it. So we're about to seal it and we'll spray a card and check it. But when you guys see me in this video, don't be laughing at me because I got these knee high socks on. So when I got up this morning, I went for my work pants and the old lady said she forgot to put them in the dryer. So. Looks like I'm wearing knee-high socks to protect the legs. So if that never happened to you guys yet, it will sooner or later. So let's get into this one, guys. guys spraying the card you guys know how I do half the card that way I can check for coverage also as I'm checking my color so I like having that lighter color under there and I could even use the black too to see how it covers and then I got my sealer color here so I like doing my spray out cards like that and that way I know how this color covers also I know how it's gonna look because I did the exact same thing on the card as I'm doing on the parts. So let's let this one set up a minute and we'll start basing it out. All right guys, so well, we put a coat on the card and you can see it's not looking like it covers very good. So I'm glad I went ahead and did half and half. That way that'll let me know how many coats I need and when I got coverage on this card at the same time as I'm checking my color because I know that what I put on this side is exactly what's on these parts. So we went ahead and put a coat on the trunk and on the bumper. And uh, when this dries, we'll put another coat on this. We'll check the color, make sure we're good and see where we're at. So stay tuned guys, as we go ahead and see if this color is any good. So the chip we had originally, the standard was a little dark and they had a lighter variance, but I had no chips for it. So always spray a card, just don't trust the, uh, the lighter chip or the darker chip or the finer chip. Spray it, check it because you don't want to be wasting materials and you don't want to be wasting redos, guys. So redos are no good.
with the light now and you guys know this light flickers on the camera but it looks like it's covered and I'm going to go ahead and put a drop on it and then I'm going to blend out the quarter so always check your coverage because that'll fight bite you in, the, in the, you know what at the end so and on this one here I didn't seal this because of all the round areas I don't want to put any sealer on this I know I'll get away with just a little bit of dust to base normally I do seal the edges on certain job so each job is different guys i do each job different when it comes to how i think it's going to come out the best so to me i don't want to put any sealer on this i can just go ahead and put a little bit on the edge of this and the edge of that and be done so let's go ahead and uh drop it we'll check our card and make sure that we're going to be good with the color before i put it on the actual quarters guys so we got our chip sprayed the card and it looks good to me, so it's lighter than the standard. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my color on the blend panels, blend it out, and then clear this one, guys. So. And one other thing that's very important, guys, make sure you take your spray out card back to your parts and make sure they match. Make sure they got enough paint on them. Check it with the light, make sure it looks like it. And then uh, you know you're good. So it doesn't hurt to double check and you know check things once, twice, and maybe even three times just so that you know you're good, guys. The worst thing you want to do is pull this car outside when it's all done after all that work you put into it and have a problem with it. So I like to double check everything I do and that'll keep me from having problems in the end. So let's go ahead and clear this one. guys so that's the c1 cap with the dv1 so i've been using the c1 for all my european jobs lately and i can get a nice glossier finish on them because they're a lot flatter than you know these regular domestic vehicles so when i'm doing a domestic i use the c2 and when i'm doing a european or something i want really nice and glassed out i'm going to the c1 guys i mean that's just the way it is i see the difference between them both and I like them both, but the C1 lays a flatter coat, whereas the C2 leaves a faster coat with a little bit more peel in it for more of a you know GM or a domestic look. So that's the way I'm rolling lately, guys. 
and it came out really nice and flat the way it needed to look this car was a real flat job and uh it needed to be slick so hope you guys like this one and let me know what you think about the c2 and the c1 if it's the same way with you guys when you get it so i definitely like the c2 when i'm flying through these jobs for these productions but then when i get one i need to really glass out and take my time and lay it on the way i want it to look i go back to the c1 so tell me what you guys think and thanks for watching